Onward, men. But those just farms just randomly appear. Okay. That's weird. Uh, something very odd has just happened. Did I just accidentally hit the button for auto reload? Because we had, we used to have 1200 crowns, now we only have 200. And we only have eight guys. I just pressed the button for auto reload. <sighs> And we're not playing. We're not playing Iron Man. <laughs> okay, let's just pretend none of none of the last hour or so <laughs> has happened. Oh, fail! Oh, fail! 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 Quick save is. Oh, there you go. Oh, whew. good call out, Wolfric. So what it was, was I need to rebind the buttons because I was using the keyboard to transition there. And then the, the same button for transition between the, the start plate and the game audio seems to be... Uh, seems to be autosave and quick save. So this is the fight right before that... This is right before that last fight we took. Okay, so we just got to replay that fight. Whoopsie. Let's hope... Oh, it looks like it's going to go even better. Oh, and he's got a tier 2 mace. Doesn't have good armor though, which sucks. Honestly, I prefer the mace. Right. It wouldn't be a stobby video without an absolute fail of some sort. We've got much nicer high ground here. Looks like they're all going to go to the north. I need to get into the habit of when I end a quote-unquote episode to just, just, just to save. Guys, please, please remind me to save. I need to be reminded because I'm friggin' stupid. We've got the high ground, we've got archers, we've got a pitchfork. This is going to be very nasty for these poor, poor thugs. Ah, fuck them. Honestly, I think they're going to keep not being able to decide whether they want to go this flank or this flank, and our archers are just going to chew them up. Down you go, sunshine. Headshot. Yeah, so what happened was I accidentally loaded the auto save, the quick save, uh, and then it loaded me into day four. But luckily, Wolfric pointed out I could just go to the auto save, which took me back to day seven. So we haven't lost any time. We just need to redo this fight, so which we which we're doing now. So the moral of the story is, I am stupid. You know what, I think we might actually want to go after this raider, because I think we're going to kill these thugs and he's going to try to flee. So let's send a few of the shield bearers down to go after him. Swing, Fots Vamp. Yep. Okay, he's on level ground. We need to fight that raider at a height disadvantage, that's for sure. Ah, uh, Lucius! Let's 
Let's take a look at this terrain. So I reckon if I put Gaius here and Flavius there, Archie, then this raider should go into melee range there. And he should then also be at a height disadvantage. So just like that. Come on, Vatican. Fine shot. Ooh, ouch. Yep, here he comes. He's coming. Yes, I certainly do hope they can remove the dastard trait. No point in daggering this guy down. We don't want his armor. We just want his, his weapon. Ouch, Jesus. Two lashes hit. Titus, Titus is in trouble. Awesome, that guy's fleeing, so it's just this lad who's the problem. Good, Flavius. Oh, Mark Antony, we needed that. Good shot. So this dude, this dude just has to die. Wow, Martinez, you just saved Titus Pullo's life. <laughs> He's getting the crap beaten out of him with a wooden stick. There you go. Pullo. Taking you down with me. Cleaver's doing the business as well. Can you attack from that height disadvantage? No, you can't. Awesome, bleeding. Can you shoot him there? Ah, oh, missed. Ah, oh, good hit. There it is. Ah, uh, we don't get it though. Ah, damn it. Okay, so overall, due to my own stupidity, stupidity and button pressing, I lost out in the armor. Valuable lesson learnt though. We should still have some level ups. So Gaius addressed us. Plus three, very nice. Plus two isn't enough for me to give him points there. So we'll go with plus three and plus three. Marcus Eurus. Plus four. Plus four. And I'm really going to go hard, um, hard on the range defense for my archers. I want them to be able to win archery contests against enemy archers. And have loads of fatigue. Just keep shooting at him. 67 ranged value. Oh yeah. So at this level, anticipation. I think I can come back for anticipation. We're not facing many uh, enemy marksmen just yet. Next level, it's obviously bow mastery. So at this level, I think I can probably go for... Hmm. What are these is good on the marksman? Actually, you know what? I should. Oh, no, I need to take anticipation because I need to go bow mastery the next level, then the level after that, uh, overwhelm, and then footwork, or footwork, then overwhelm. So I've got to take anticipation. Right, onwards. I do like that we got a reinforced wooden flail. We need loads more of those flails. We've been kind of lucky that we haven't been given any of those missions where you have to go fight uh, auxiliaries, ancient auxiliaries. Crippling strikes is super good in the archers. Um, I'll definitely be getting crippling strikes at, at some point. Uh, I think I just, I, I'm going to try overwhelm. I've never really used overwhelm before. I'm going to try overwhelm and I also want uh footwork uh, footwork is a must as soon as i can get it because if they get closed in on, on melee range they need to be able to get away from it titus got a broken nose let's treat that we need some tools 
None to be had. There is an armor, so we can just pay. Yeah, let's pay to get all the, the, the armor repaired. I think it's just that. Uh, alt right click pay to have repaired. There you go. Does everybody up front have a dagger? Yes. We need pitchforks, we need to go west to get some uh, nets, some fishing nets. And actually, um, who else has high melee accuracy? Vorinus, just hang on to a wooden stick, just so you can stun lock somebody in, in a pinch. And also it's only costing you three fatigue to hang on to it there. Titus Pulo, you've got the bludgeon to stun people with, so that's fine. Is there anybody here that I want to hire, like a, a brawler? No, there's just that farmhand. Torheim, the hunter, is tempting, but we need to make the push to get 2,000 gold. How much does this pay? Not a lot, so it must be very, very, very close. So we'll just take it and go for a ride, really. <laughs> I wonder if I can buy some furs here. Oh yes, furs for cost price. I'll buy all three. We'll make a nice bit of profit there. And tools for cost price as well. Ooh, I'm tempted to keep buying... Oh, okay. A scholar we don't need. Actually, I don't mind these butchers, you know. Plus mini skill, plus resolve. That's excellent to put them on the front line. But I think our next hire needs to be another archer. I want the four archers. So we've got a bowyer, a companion, a hunter. So the next we need a poacher and we need a witch hunter. I think you, you want a hunter and a poacher because then you get an event where they challenge each other to uh, an archery contest and it increases both of their range skill. a surprisingly far uh, trading caravan run for only 190 gold. Ooh. What are those? Just some thugs. I'll be happy to fight them. We'll slaughter them. Come at us, thugs. Yeah, you better run. Oh, hang on. What goods do they have? Oh, gems and salt. Uh, and we can make 60 gold per fur that we bought. Okay, so. We, I think, need to focus our energies and do as much as we can to become friendly with Gem and Schacht. Because if we can buy gems and salt for below cost price, we'll make a freaking fortune. Desecrated crypt, I accept. Whatever it is, I'll do it. Uh, one thing is for sure, we're going to be fighting skeletons, so we need whatever flails we have, whatever plus accuracy weapons we have. Also, the, the, the crossbows, the ranged weapons ain't going to do shit. No, no, wait, that's not what I meant to do. Sorry. Uh, okay, you have got that and that. We'll try the throwing axes, because I've been told that the throwing axes are decent against skeletons. And we'll just, yeah, like this, this should be fine. There's a code of crypt, let's go get it. Yeah, it will indeed. So, we are going to focus on just doing as many jobs as we can for German Schacht, because obviously every time we become more popular with them. Ooh, interesting. A strange sight. One dead man pinned to the earth with spears. 
His own blood has been used to circle his corpse, and other strange ritualistic rites have been painted by way of his lifeblood. Lucius Varinus starts retrieving the spears. You try and tend to stop, but it's already too late. He calls one of the weapons up. What? These are good quality. Why would we leave them here? Well, if there was a deific protection here, it's already been broken. You click the spears. The Elder Stone was easy enough to find, but as you prepare to go and grab the townsfolk's relic, you spy a shiny war scythe adorning a tall and ominous statue of a man. Your first thought is to send a mercenary to go and grab it, but then you wonder what in all the hells it's doing there. Perhaps the 13th Legion should stick to what it was asked to do. The problem is, oh God, I really want this war scythe, because the war scythe lets you hit three enemies in the line in front of you. The problem is it's going to count the mission as a failure then, and I really want this city to be happy with us and to be friends with us. I do know the war scythe was nerfed as well. Do anybody in chat know exactly how they nerfed the war scythe? Hmm. Also, who's going to use the war scythe? Not our sergeant because he's going to use the banner and none of the archers because they are pr predominantly going to be using bows hmm no just take the elder stone that was easy enough if if i wasn't going for the one banner boy four archers loadout if i was going for like two archers and then two pikemen i would have taken that And also, if it wasn't for this, if it was any other city, I think I would have taken it. But I desperately want them to like us as soon as possible. Awesome. So the prize, uh, prices hopefully will be, will be below cost price. It should be enough to give us enough profit to make the 2,000 gold. So who, who can we hire here? Just a bunch of mimers, really. That should have removed ambush trade routes. Yeah, it's crazy expensive still. What do you got for us? Hunt down who... Okay, terrorizing. No problem. It's all good money and it makes them happy with us. So I'm happy to do it. Let's get the archers back into position. And we can actually use the spears. What if I made a mistake by not taking that war scythe? Yeah. Eight knocked airs, no problem. Fighting them at daytime with ranged advantage will be fine. The caravan hand is tempting indeed, but we've got we've only got a few spots left on the front line, and I have to have a brawler, and I have to have a wild man. I don't have to have a wild man, I just love wild men though, they have so much fatigue. A brawler is a must buy and I also need I need one more one more uh, hounds master because I, I want two hounds masters one on each flank so when we start fighting ranged guys or geists we can go around the side with them and release the dogs so we've got two more positions for the front line it has to be a brawler and it has to be a hounds master great shot Nice, these hunting bows are doing so much damage. Oh, that was actually a mistake, because that just lets this guy move forward and eat it. I should have just hit, shot them each once, just wound them, so they're easier to go down. Okay, I must bear that in mind. Note to self, don't be stupid.
Okay, we can just keep focusing that one with the archers though. Nice stabbing. Ah! Love a good spear wall. Damn, can't you attack anyone? The fuck? Okay, because of the height disadvantage. Alright, fair enough. Just, hmm. Just firing blindly into the group. One of these has to hit, surely. Good stabbing. So I can't really get into a good position here. He has the play though. We take the high ground, block that body, and go into a post. With height advantage, they're actually likely to not be able to hit him. That's a big lad. Nice! That's why I love repost. When repost works, it's one of the best skills. That is when it works, though. Good hit. So, actually, I have to block this corpse because otherwise he can just move forward, eat it, and get to level 3, which is pretty scary. We leave this uh, lane of squares open, all my archers can shoot at it. I must have forgot about this nerd. He's really tucked away in there. Ooh, ouch! Pulo's shield wall didn't help him for shit there. Oh yeah! Great shooting. So I don't want to put someone in that square then the archers all have their shots blocked. I kind of think we have to now. Shit, if this guy hits Titus uh, again twice, he's dead. Awesome, he's fleeing. There you go. Much safer. That was harder than it needed to be. Back to German Schacht. It's going to get paid. So Wolfix says, The Ancient Dead mission grants the High Spirits buff... It's the bandit missions that removes the ambush trade routes, I think. Okay. A hundred more gold and we will have the 2,000 we need. What are the prices? 580, it's still above cost price, so not going to be worth it. Let's just do one more mission. Uh, probably somewhere up the road we'll be able to give us a mission. And that'll give us our 2,000. Level up, nice. Lucius Varinos. See, this is the problem with the no, no stars. Urgh. Okay, so his hit points are high enough. His resolve is high enough. So now I want to be increasing his melee skill and his melee defense, but you just get rolls horrible. Something like this. He rolls a four on ranged. Oh, that hates to do it. That hurts. Doing a plus one just hurts. Sucks! I kind of feel like I'm going to need to give him fast adaption to make up for his crap melee skill, but... Nah. Eh, let's just go with Brawny. Everybody on the front line is going to need Brawny. Although we don't really have we don't have the, the armor to give him Brawny yet. Let's go for Shield Expert. All the Shield guys are going to need Shield Expert anyway. So... Yes, that's right. So that gives him extra range defense and extra mini defense, and his shield isn't as easy to destroy. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. 
Oh, a looting dock is closer. Get some work there. Brigands. Many thugs and one raider. I want that raider. Whatever he has as armor, I want it. No time to repair the armor. Guess I don't think we need spears against these guys. Let's go with flail. Nice. 60 attack value. Yeah, you stay with a spear. 69, you can go to. Do you have anything better? Melee skill. 25 to 30, 20 to 35. May as well go for the spear. Yes, a spear, flail, spear, sword. And then loads of ranged weapons. Get him! Let's hope he has some good armor and a good weapon. Nope. He's got a falchion, which is pretty good though. And hell, I'll, I'll take that padded armor. It's okay. Not great or anything, but he doesn't have a shield as a nice thing, so we can stun lock him. And someone else here I know is carrying a wooden stick. It's not Fox Vamp, that's for sure. That guy with the dagger is actually pretty dangerous. If he lands that Pierce Armor skill with no shield, he'll do huge damage. So that's actually my number one priority in terms of who I want to kill. It's a reinforce up here, of course. Do we hold him at bay? No. Varinus, your job is to stun lock this guy. Hold the line, lads. One of them I think is going to take the bait and rush in there, but that's fine. Great shooting. Awesome. One of them fleeing already. Oh, I was hoping he would repost and we could just ignore him. Ugh. It is the 105 helmet, yes. Glad to have it as well. Oh, stun sucks, but we got our damage off. Oh, thank God he missed that. Damn, two bad misses there. Stun. Awesome. This gives us time to kill everybody else. Good work, Titus. Okay. Good, so and Mark Anthony actually could have kept his bow out. That was a misplay there. We can give those throwing axes a try. Where can go back to your uh, that was a waste. Mm. Not my finest work here. In fact, don't make the same mistake. I'll just wait with Martinez. As long as I kill this guy, then Martinez can shoot again. Uh, throwing axes. Missed. Shit, yeah, Lucius is out of fatigue. Three. There you go, that's the shot. Oh, almost. Okay, this guy's getting scary now. Ah, oh, bad miss. Ooh. 
Awesome, at least their southern flank has collapsed completely. That was important that he missed there, actually. Nice! Ooh. Get over there, boys. Uh, start punching or just go to the dagger. He's 100% gonna flee. Ouch! Ooh. Although Lucius can't take much more damage though. Oh, once we have him surrounded, this will be easy enough. But I do need to surround him though. Wavering. It will be wavering soon. It's fine. What I didn't want was for him to try to finish off Lucius, so that's okay. Let's give him the old surround and stab. Oh, he's breaking. <clears throat> awesome, we got him. <clears throat> nice, he's fleeing. Okay, so it's a nice little falchion, a nice helmet as well, that's good. <clears throat> Cheeky punches. There you go, let's see what we get. Okay, this is actually a big dagger. We, we're gonna need seven of those daggers, and another reinforced flail is also excellent. Level ups all round. You know what, Lucius, you can go to the falchion now, I reckon. Sergeant Keeler. Plus three on resolve isn't great, but better than nothing. At level three. Uh, hmm. Yeah, you fortified mind and then rally the troops. Gaius Sidrastus. Level up. Plus four on melee skill. Yeah, buddy. Plus three on hit points and that resolve needs to be improved. Four there. I'm not going to turn that down. Excellent. With 67 attack, I want you to have more damage than that militia spear. Use a flail. Even the head armor now is starting to trickle down, getting a little bit better. shield there right, nice this is going to make everybody so much more uh, tougher to hit and therefore more survivable Thomas Pulo is a raider so eventually I want him to use a two-handed weapon so he won't take shield expert he will take brawny though but do we make him a raider actually he doesn't really have much in the way of melee defense hmm I'll tell you what if I get someone maybe with better melee defense like two stars in melee defense will make him a raider Pulo, stay as a shield bearer. That's actually, I don't mind this because we can get raiders in the later game. Uh, the reason being that raiders are dependent on super heavy armor, which you won't have at this point anyway. Let's just keep everybody survivable. I don't want to suffer losses. Last dagger. 64. 67 here. Bam. And that should be the 2000 gold we need. Ooh, hello. Ruins of Stalwart Keep. <laughs> Punches for Rolo. Hell yeah. I remember that. That was epic. Such an epic moment. You can start selling anything below Ragged Surcoat level. 
I only need two of those in spear. I don't need more than two spears in reserve. That's the 2,000 we need. Excellent. One of these should be fight bandits. The other one should be hunt down what's terrorizing. Traders. How much are you talking about? I accept. Drive off brigands. I need some time to think. Let's hunt down what's terrorizing you first. Uh, return the red coin collection. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Hey, there's the battle standard. Hell yeah. Sadly, though, it's gone dark now. That's really going to nerf Martinez. It is great that we've got a pitchfork trickling down now. We need one more here. And one more here. So the armor is a little bit damaged. Let's just kind of tiptoe around these guys until it gets... You know, it's not even dark yet. It's dusk. Hit him. Before it's night time. Excellent. One poacher. I just got to remember, one of the lads has wrecked armor, so we've got to be super careful with him. Can you shoot at that poacher? Not quite. 73% you must. Oh, scary. 71, take that shot. I'm pretty sure they'll come towards us. Yeah, they will. And we can outshoot that poacher, no problem, with our ranged guys. He has got height advantage though. So I missed that follow. Who was that? Whoopsie. Uh, Sinjin Smythe. Thank you for the follow. No one we can attack here. Ooh. Oh crap, it's Lucius who doesn't have the armor. Okay, let's kill these nerds. Nice, as quick as we can. These two are my main priority, also because it'll free up someone to go run after the poacher. Ouchie. Can you make it through there? Not quite. Freaking murder this nerd. Oh, I needed you to hit that. That's what I'm talking about. Ouch, headshot. Gaius in trouble. That should convince the poacher to run rather than shoot, which is pretty important. Gaius, keep your shield up. His turn is done. This guy's turn is done. Oh, that's big. We needed that. Ah, oh, bad miss. Ah, oh, bad miss. Oh. One of our archers has been closed in on, but we've got bigger problems. Martinus, knock him away. Okay, he can't get away, but if one of these lads can be freed up, then they can take that position there, which should help. Oh, he chose to shoot twice. That was a bad, bad decision on his point. On his part, I mean. Because now Flavius can get into, into range. And explode his head. Good shot. Good shooting. 
First things first, shield wall. Bad hit. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. I want to see heads flying off. That's more like it, lads. No real benefit there. But it's gonna get paid. We should probably camp overnight though. We've got some really hurt lads and we're gonna need to buy some tools. At least one set of tools. Flavius, plus two. I think I need to start going for melee defense here because plus two on hit points is not enough. Martinus Ayurus. Anticipation. Ranged skill. Fatigue. Ranged defense. We've got some guys who are quite hurt. Uh, we've got a spin knife. Anybody need a knife? Doesn't look like it. No. Okay, decent progress. We're making decent progress. Uh, I'll take that in the morning. Let's just have a drink and camp overnight. In fact, I need the I need the the shop to open so I can buy some tools. Oh, for fuck's sake! And they cost five hundred and sixteen. Okay, that means we need to swap some armor around. See, that's only twenty six points of armor. 24 points of armor, 70, 79, 80 is good, 46, 65, and 65. Thank goodness for the spare armor. How's the head armor? Oof, 11, that's no good. That'll have to do, I'm afraid. Is there no... There is no temple here. Let's just camp a little bit. And then we'll go take out these brigands. Look, is all the hit points healed up? No, it's only Gaius who isn't, but 43. Meh. He'll be fine. Ammunition is super, super low. Something to think about. We're going to need more ammunition. I actually hope there's a raider here. and I want a raider's armor. Good. One raider and some thugs. It'll be easy enough. Yes, that's exactly the armor I wanted. He's not even wearing a helmet. So Gaius and Flavius will just uh, flail his head open and it'll be... He'll be done for. Oh, great shot. Ooh, I want that flail. The nice thing is it's actually at the point now where we want to start fighting uh, brigand raiders. Raiders are going to do a lot for us. Lucius, don't you have a stick? Yeah, just keep him locked down just in case. Oh, look at that damage. Love it. Good hit, Kila. Nice, he's stunned. Oh, that was actually a mistake. This guy's going to move up and get a swing off at Kila, whose armor is a bit low. Stupid, 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 stupid. Oh, good dodging, Kila. Oh, 
probably tried to move the fool. Yeah, severe so concussion is 50% less melee skill and melee defense. So he's essentially harmless now. Essentially. <laughs> the old lash double kill. Oh god, those headshots are doing so much damage. That's why I want to start fighting raiders. I want to get the tier 2 flails, or the, the, the actual steel flail. We are absolutely wrecking these nerds. A fine shot. Save your ammo. Look after your teammate. Oh, 84% and he misses. What a nerd. Run them down. No survivors. Oh, stab the guts. Awesome. Worn mail and assault. That's worth like 340 plus 250 and 15 tools. That's huge. It's huge, as Trump would say. Bam. First set of male armor. 64, 69. Padded armor. Where can the archer? Oh, plus two is terrible. The plus four there is very nice. Uh, keep doing that. Let's go. 54 hit points is a bit low. Man, I'm so grateful for all of that, uh, all those tools we got. 64, 66, 67, so you get uh, the next best set of armor. 70 points of armor, 70 points of armor. Let's see here, Archer gets that one. And then we repair that flail. I might even get a third flail out there. No, I actually have two flails, it's just fine. It's gonna get paid, boys. Very nice haul. I'm pleased with that. Still terrified villagers and still being raided. So the prices are still gonna be outrageous. Yeah, that's what I thought. And they give us a terrible price for that. Let's get out of this city. This city is totally effed. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, Some thugs, one raider, a few poachers. Nah, we're not getting paid to fight them. If it wasn't for those poachers, I'd go take them on. Okay, set out into the wilderness, discover the unknown and plunder it. Nope. Company back to full strength is tempting. Uh, set aside skirmishes. No. Souls your feet. No. Let's take the full strength one because that's easiest to do. Then hopefully after this, we will be able to get the name of sergeant to get the sergeant's sash, which is what I really want. Uh, the trade cities, you mean the ones that give good uh, give items or one that give good prices? The ones that give good prices will be any of the major cities, which would be Tiefenstadt, Bromingstead, Donnersburg, where else? Sudafest. But Gemenschacht, I think, is needs to be your main focus in terms of getting money. Because what you need is, guess a 581, that, that's almost there. It's almost at the level I want it to be at. I 
still desperately need cheaper tools though. I think if we do, if we could just remove this ambush trade routes, we should be in a good position. Okay, we need to hire more lads. We've got a bit of money is the good news. Uh, none of these are particularly good. Let's go back to that original village and see if we can't get ourselves a poacher or another hunter or maybe a witch hunter. Witch hunters tend to be in the major cities though. Actually, you know what? We'll go past this. Maybe we can get one. But the major cities like... What did I say they were? Tiefenstadt and the other city up north. Oh, please be a few poachers and some raiders. I guess that'll be four raiders and two poachers. How are we for armor and hit points? Not fully upgraded. So I'm going to follow these guys around all day until it gets dark and then we'll fight them. Oh, wrong way. Come here, brigands. I don't want to fight them in a forest. Okay, that changes things horribly. I need these groups to split up now. You know what? It's two of them in a forest. Forget it. We're not getting paid to fight them either. What do you have for us? Militiamen. Tired soldier. Brawler. Yes, please. Mini stars. Nope. He is bloodthirsty though, which is amazing. And he's got two stars in fatigue. So we'll make him a shield bearer. But probably going to end up replacing him. Unless he levels up very nicely. Uh, I don't see us using him. The new guys who would go on the front line. I generally chuck on the back line with a pike until they hit level 3. Then they go to the front line. It's just safer. We at least have a brawler though. I'm not going to bother with that one skull mission. I just want to hit the major cities and see if I can find on the on the shopping list now in terms of skills we need a witch hunter and another another hounds master so the hounds master means that I need to find a city that has a kennels in it uh, it's, mm, I would take that job but we need tools 350 tools is too expensive Also, ammunition here is too expensive. This should hopefully change the prices for us. But I've been recording for nearly an hour, so again, let's take a little break, and when we come back, we can start pushing on. Our objectives are going to be get tools, get uh, ammunition, need ammunition, and on our shopping list, in terms of heroes, I want character types, I mean. I need another Hounds Master and I need a Witch Hunter. So I think we're doing okay. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. When we come back, we will be pushing on really to the to the early mid game. Well no, it's still it's still early game. Ah, whatever. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. And it looks like OBS has crashed. Shit.